under the earth and tore away from India. Spreading down from the Arctic and away from North America, Eurasia was still the largest landmass on Earth. The recurving of this gigantic landmass created the greatest folding of the upper crust on Earth. This folding and mountaining happened just above this new triangular broken away peninsula that we call India. If India wasn't hanging down there, Northern India would be Asia's coast. This land area was stretched out to the side, just as Northern Italy was stretched sideways because it was on Europe's stretching coast. Down lower on both India and Italy, the sideways pulling tension ceased and normal recurving, mild mountaining began anew. Finally, Africa began tearing free of Europe. As Africa pulled downward, the mountains draped down over the left side of India. What about the other side? Brings us to Australia. Australia was broken in a long, sweeping break from North America and Asia. The break curved inward as it came down Asia. North America pulled away, but Australia was held against Asia by Antarctica, which clung in turn to South America and Africa, and then, of course, Asia. Seems complicated, it's not. Finally, mainland Asia could stand the pressure no longer and it tore a mighty tear, a tear we now call the Yellow Sea. This relieved the pressure on Asia and that lower land was to be forfeit. As Australia pulled down, the land unwound and finally had to bend backward and break into islands which turned out into the sea. Australia was pulled down inexorably and the mountains angled down Indonesia with the land folding along the right side of India, folded like cloth folds. Asia also spread from the North Pole. It crushed down on India. This is why we have buckled mountains above and to the sides of India, the only true reason. Australia finally tore away from Antarctica 65 million years ago and took its place in the spreading ocean. It isolated the southern marsupial. The marsupial's bigger home, Antarctica, froze over with the arrival of the newly created deep sea plate. The ocean surrounded now Australia, which became the one big remaining home for marsupial life. Islands such as Great Britain, Norway, Sweden, and others are broken off chunks that, as with Iceland, still move as the earth grows semi-slowly away from their mainland homes, riding within and on their spreading plates. Do you see how broadly the Pacific is opening compared to the Atlantic? This is exactly why the knee-jerk Pangaea theory exists. The Pacific spread is too difficult to easily visualize because it's so big. The Atlantic spread is so obvious that a child would recognize it, but they are the same. I don't want anyone to think we may have manipulated the Earth while the away side circled, so we'll show the Atlantic in its growth first and then the Pacific. Please watch the details. It seems so natural because it is so natural. This is how it happened. We were very, very strict in our rules and the way we followed them. Besides no subduction and no turning and no enlarging, reducing and deforming, we went much further. We followed the undersea tectonic maps that are commonly accepted. 